field, picks him up in front, scores! Series winner, Tyler Topoli! And the Canadians are the kings of the North! What just happened? What's going on guys, Rob Pizzo with another breakdown. And yeah, I'm still in shock. The Montreal Canadiens, the last team to clinch a playoff spot in the regular season, the last team to move on in the first round, is the first team to punch their ticket to the semifinals. Fresh off their seven game shocker of a comeback against the Leafs, the Habs made quick work of the Jets with a four game sweep, and they've now won seven games in a row. That's their longest playoff winning streak since they won 11 in a row back in 1993. And we all know how that ended. The Canadians win the Stanley Cup. Let's put it this way. The Montreal Canadiens have not trailed in a hockey game in the playoffs since game four of the first round. That is an active stretch of 433 minutes and 53 seconds, which is the second longest in history behind the 1960, you guessed it, Montreal Canadiens when they won their fifth cup in a row. Now, as for the Winnipeg Jets, exactly two weeks after they used their brooms to bump Connor McDavid and the Oilers, well, they got a taste of their own medicine. Now, was it the eight day break between series? Was it only being able to score six goals in the entire series against Carey Price? Or were they simply not able to recover after Mark Shifley got suspended for this hit? I think it's a little bit of all of that and then some. So what do the Habs get as a reward for all of their hard work in the first two rounds of the playoffs? A date with one of the top two teams in the league. Now, speaking of the Avs and the Golden Knights, I'm always a little weary when a coach decides to call out his players. The results can really go either way. They could be motivated and bounce back with a great performance, or let's face it, it could just tick them off. So when Avs head coach Jared Bednar said this about his top line. I mean, I don't know, I haven't seen the stats, but go ahead and check the numbers on our top guys tonight and see what they did compared to their top guys. It's not close. Yeah, shifted in my seat a little bit. So how would they respond? Well, they got hammered in game four, and that top line of Nathan McKinnon, Gabriel Landeskog, and Mikko Rantanen were not only held off the score sheet, but were a combined minus six. Okay, we've seen some crazy games so far in the playoffs, but in game four of the Hurricanes Lightning series, we saw a crazy period. Back to stand behind it, and they score! Slave and Shannery, tip score! Eight goals in a period. It's the first time that's happened in more than a decade. Just the 12th time in history. And it was just one goal away from the record for most goals in a period in the playoffs. In 1979, the Rangers and Flyers scored nine in a period, and that was matched in 1990 by the Kings and Flames. Shifting to the Islanders Bruins series, Boston head coach Bruce Cassidy wasn't exactly happy with the referee. But I think they sell a narrative over there that um, it's more like the New York Saints. You know, not the New York Islanders. You know, they play hard and they play the right way. But at the end of the day, the similar plays, they, they need to be penalized on those plays. But like I said, I think they've sold in a great job selling that narrative that, you know, they're clean. Uh, they play hard, a hard brand of hockey, love the way they play, but they commit as many fractions as we do. Trust me. That little comment cost them 25 grand. Okay, and finally, some big news that came from off the ice this week. The Canadian government approved a travel exemption for the last two rounds of the playoffs. So what does that mean? Well, NHL teams can now cross the Canada-US border with a modified quarantine. In other words, a modified bubble of sorts, which includes the hotel and the arena. No use of shared facilities and no contact with the general public. And this was done under the title of national interest, which made some people really, really happy and others like some Olympians, or some of the general public. Yeah, not so much. So trust me when I say this, this is not the last we're gonna hear about this story. We'll see you in a couple days.